Hey guys, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday. It's Tuesday, May 1st, 2012, and this is Jennifer. I have a huge amount of stuff to tell you, so we're gonna get right to it. Thank you, everyone, for all of the amazing birthday greetings. I got so many great birthday greetings, and I got emails and Facebook messages and comments and all kinds of great stuff. It was a really good day. Other than the fact that my husband was sick over the weekend, he's actually fine now, but he had a rough two or three days. Um, that was the only downer of my whole weekend, and even then, it was still a great weekend. I really just was overwhelmed with love and affection and all of the messages, and you guys were awesome, and I really, really cannot thank you enough just for your generosity and all the love that was coming at me out of my computer. The Paper Piece Pattern a Day Garden Party Block Hop has concluded. The last pattern posted yesterday, plus a bonus block posted today, um, there were 30 designers in 30 days, 30 free patterns, plus a bonus pattern, so a total of 31 patterns. It was amazing. Um, there were a couple of little hiccups, but nothing major. Um, we had a pattern every single day without fail. They're all free. They're by just a huge variety of different designers. So I highly, highly encourage you guys to check out um, my So Hooked post from earlier today. I will post a link. I did a roundup with all 30 blocks plus the border blocks plus the information on the giveaways that are still going on right now. I have some awesome, awesome giveaways right now. I told you guys last week that I'm giving away a copy of EQ7. That giveaway did start last week and after a lot of thinking and a lot of suggestions, I decided to make it part of the Garden Party Blog Hop. So, if you make my block from the Garden Party Blog Hop and post your picture to the Flickr group, you're entered to win the EQ7. That's all you have to do. Um, just make the block, post it in the Flickr. So, I'm going to show you my block. This is Perennial Pleasures, um, because as you know, uh, tulips are perennial. They return year after year and you can enjoy wine year round. This pattern comes with an alternate layout of a butterfly on this side instead of a glass of wine if you prefer to have a non-alcoholic version of this block. Um, this free pattern was posted on April 28th, which is my birthday, so go back to Sohook, check that out. I will put a link to this post in the description because this is the post you need to go to to get the information you need for the EQ drawing. Um, that drawing will happen on May 7th, so make sure if you are interested at all in having a free copy of EQ7, please, please do make this block. Um, it's not a super complicated block. It's about an intermediate. Um, it does make a 10-inch block. And then take a picture, put it in Flickr, and you're entered to win. And I cannot wait to give that away. That is going to be so completely awesome. In conjunction with that block, um, Electric Quilt actually made a post on their blog about my giveaway, so you guys check that out. Um, they posted a picture of this block and commented on the fact that I have a block coming up in Quilt Maker. Um, so that is actually going to happen next week. So Quilt Maker's 100 Blocks, which comes out May 8th, and I have a copy. Um, so my block is in this Quilt Maker. Um, I will be part of the Quilt Maker 100 Blocks blog tour on May 3rd, so look for my post on Thursday. Um, I will have pictures of my block and some, the pictures of the quilt that I made for my block, which is also in Quilt Maker, and um, I will just talk to you about that design process. And I also did a little recording before I mailed all my stuff away, so I will probably post that on Thursday as well, just for everyone to see. So hopefully you guys will really enjoy that. I'm really looking forward to that. This has been a long process. I've known for a long time, and um, it's very exciting to finally get to share this information with you guys. Um, all these secrets. It's secrets all the time. But secrets are fun when they're like this, and I get to reveal stuff like this. So um, I'm very excited to get to share. So you guys be sure, pick up the magazine on May 8th, Visit my blog on May 3rd. I will have a giveaway for two free copies of 100 Blocks. Um, those will come directly from the publisher, so that's really exciting. So you guys, um, I have giveaways coming out of my ears. There's still time today to enter the Ties That Bind blog hop tour giveaway, which is for a copy of Marie Bostwick's new book, The Ties That Bind. Um, you guys, 
I will put all these links in the description. Just go to So Hook, they're all there. I have giveaways for so many things going on right now. It's awesome the amount of opportunities that I've had to give away free things. So um, it's my favorite thing to do. I love to give away stuff. So I'm excited that I get to do this on a larger scale than I've ever done it before. Make sure to stop by Fandom and Stitches tomorrow, May 2nd. It is month eight, I think, of There and Back Again. There will be a new block of the month for our Hobbit block of the month tomorrow. And tomorrow's pattern is actually my pattern. So I hope you guys stop by. Um, it continues to be a really fun block of the month and there are lots of great photos in the Flickr group from all of the people that are participating not only in that but they're sharing photos of other things. If you guys have not gone to Fandom and Stitches recently you have to check out all the great new patterns. We have new designers and Michelle Thompson has been doing a line of Sesame Street patterns so I think we have we have either 8 or 12, yeah, they're a whole, they're enough for a quilt. There's a whole new line of Sesame Street patterns that's under animated children's. They're awesome. Check those out. And just check out Phantom and Stitches. It's really grown over the last couple of months. Um, and we are actually approaching our one year anniversary, which is going to be, I believe, this Friday or Saturday. So I'm going to have to check that out. But you guys check it out. We have just been growing by leaps and bounds. And we have so much new talent and so many new volunteers that are sharing their gifts with our uh, readers and all the quilters that love quilting fandom quilts. Be sure and visit So Hooked this week because there's a crazy amount of stuff going on. Um, SoHooked.com for you guys that don't know. And for everyone that's new this week, welcome. I know I have a lot of new people from the blog hop. You guys, thank you for participating. Thank you, thank you for participating. And thank you again to all the designers. Now that I've given you all the crazy updates for all the stuff that's going on in my world, um, I did want to talk a little bit about the quilt show that I went to over the weekend. On Saturday, Hennig House Quilts hosted the Pflugerville Area Quilt Show. Hennig House Quilts is a little quilt store out in the country. It's on the edge of Pflugerville between Pflugerville and Manor. It's awesome. It's beautiful. It's a, a lovely setting. Um, it's in a historic house and it was indoor and outdoor and there were quilts everywhere. It was very casual. It was not a juried show, so there weren't any prizes or anything, but there were lots of people and lots of great quilts, all the way from antique quilts through modern quilts through everything you can think of. My quilt was actually hanging inside the quilt store over the cutting table, which I didn't know it would be there, so I was really surprised when I got there and I saw it hanging over the cutting table because it's one of the great places to have a quilt because people are standing at the cutting table and you look up and there it was. So, um, I will insert some video from that quilt show and I hope you guys really enjoy it.
I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I enjoy going. Um, it was really windy, but fortunately there was no rain and I was there for a couple of hours and the turnout just in those two hours was amazing. There were so many people. I saw lots of people I knew and friends were there, which was a lot of fun. And I hope, I hope that Kim does it again next year. Kim Gaddy is the owner of Henning House Quilts. She is also a published author and sort of the queen of applique. I will put a link to her book and to her website in the description so you guys can check that out. Um, that's gonna be it for this week. You guys come back and see me on Thursday for the Quilt Maker 100 Blocks blog tour. I'm super excited to be part of that and I really hope you guys stop by and um, check out all those crazy giveaways that I have. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Uh, blah 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 blah.